From Uvalde, Texas, you're watching an SA Live show on the go at drivetanks.com and Ox Ranch. Hi, everyone, and welcome to SA Live's first ever show on the go. And wow, are we excited about this one? I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorsiza. We're out here at Drive Tanks and Ox Ranch in Uvalde today for one explosive episode. Literally. We've got flamethrowers. <laughs> An animal safari. I am talking like I am on a safari because I am. Military barracks. Wake up, soldier! What are you doing? Listen to me right now. You need to get up. You need to stand up. You need to go outside. You need to get ready to go. What are you doing? And to top it all off, a Le Cordon Bleu chef. A gourmet's heaven around here. Everything is out here, and we have got the entire crew dispatched to show you what they have to offer here, including this baby right behind us. Yes, let's get right to the main event because this is the only place in the world that a civilian can drive and fire this tank. A Sherman tank. Todd DiGidio is the CEO and owner of this. Not everybody has a tank in their garage. No, it's pretty rare. Uh, we have been collecting tanks for quite a few years. And about a year ago, we decided to o try to open it to the public for people to come in and experience what we've been able to do for several years. And this is unique. It's very unique. It's the only uh, Sherman tank in the world that uh, somebody can come off the street and come and sign up and go shoot and drive. So who can come on out here and do this experience? Anyone. Uh, we've had people from uh, 12 years old all the way up to in their 80s from Korean War veterans that have driven this tank and other, our other tanks as well. A little bit of a speaking of driving, can we drive? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're we'll going to back out, okay. and I'll get you uh, driving in just a few minutes. <laughs> Easier than I thought. Oh, yay! So go ahead, charge the weapon like I showed you. Down, back, let's go. Perfect. Woo! <laughs> so this is what comes out of the end of that thing. That is. What we're shooting today is an actual armor-piercing round that would have been shot in World War II. It's about a 15-pound projectile. Mm -hmm. We're shooting an actual Sherman case. It is going to come out of that main gun at about 2,500 feet per second. It's a high-velocity round. And hopefully, we'll be uh, hitting the car downrange. The car is a much smaller target than a tank, mm -hmm. but uh, we see what we can do. What kind of armor would this thing kind of do? It, it would go through a Sherman, okay. like this, wow. or a German armor at this distance. You ready? Yeah. All right. Where am I firing this baby from? We're going to fire it right from out here. Heavy. We're going to give it up. To, uh, we're going to give it up to Spencer to uh, <laughs> load up. We're going to give a good countdown now. Yee! Ready? Ready. To go. Everyone ready? Okay. Here we go. Three, two. One! Fire in the hole! Woo! Shoot me! 
<laughs> you missed. <laughs> yeah, so. Always looks like you missed. Oh, really? Nice job. Did it? Is that the hole? It travels right through and hits the dirt behind it, so it looks like it missed. Oh, okay. But yeah, you hit. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> All right. Would that just be on cool or beyond cool? So incredibly cool. What a blast. <laughs> well, the mil oh, by the way, here's a 50 cal oh, shell souvenir you. for you. So thank you very much. The military themed experience here at drivetanks.com continues. We shoot on over to the World War II themed barracks. David Elder takes you on a tour. Well, if you like the way those tanks look, well, we got the perfect place for you to stay out here. We're out at an illegitimate looking barracks, and Todd, you're going to be showing us why you guys actually have barracks out here, right? Exactly. We decided to have a location where our clients that just come out here exclusively for our purposes have a place to stay right here on the ranch and get a little taste of ranch activities. Well, it looks fantastic from the outside. We're going to go inside and check it out. <laughs> Well, Todd, World War II themed, you're not kidding. You can see you got the Memphis Bell in there, keep them flying. Got lots of little things around here that remind you of the era. Right, that's what we tried to do is kind of show some uh, different things. First Armored Division, Second Armored Division rooms. We have two rooms here uh, and allows two of our clients to stay here and uh, enjoy the, the view with the ranch. That's a great view. It is. It's a killer view. Call that the Big Valley. stayed on theme with this whole thing. We tried to, but we did. We wanted to make it modern and uh, make it comfortable. We actually have the actual newspaper articles, actual photos from World War II, even some from a German soldier that we were able to obtain. This is a great thing for the whole family, too. That We, we get families all the time. Spring break is a big, big thing. So they go into the beach, people are coming in and doing something different for a change. Well, thank you so much for showing us around. I definitely want to take a nap now. This looks very comfortable <laughs> in here. Right. The barracks at drivetanks.com are great for World War II buffs and for those looking to blow some stuff up. But over at Ox Ranch, they have luxurious cabins great for the whole family. Not just blowing stuff up out here, fishing and walking around enjoying the safaris. They also have a place where you can stay and bring the whole family for fun. And with me to talk about that is Brazzy Buyer, interior designer and hospitality consultant. How's it going? I'm good. I'm so excited to be out here today. I'm excited to be out here. There's a lot of stuff to do out here. <laughs> there is. Including the stuff that's just right behind us in this room. We have the shuffleboard, arcades, we have a pool table. There's a lot of stuff to come out here and have fun with. Yes. Oh, this one has zombies. <laughs> They're shooting tanks. We're in here shooting zombies. After playing a few more rounds of games, we finally made our way up to the cabin. All right, Razzie, so we made our way up here. Now, this is some of the most gorgeous lodging I've ever seen anywhere. Now, is this one of the best lodging places here on the property? All of our lodging is fabulous. This one is very unique because it's right on the water. Two of our cabins are directly on the water. We're going to go inside and actually look at the things that are inside the cabin yeah. as well, right? Check it out. Lucy, I'm home. Oh my goodness. This is what somebody can get when they come out here, right? Yeah. This All of our place. cabins are pretty standard. They range in different sizes from number of bedrooms or beds in each cabin. If you are ready to relax after a long day of hunting and fishing, you come out to this beautiful oasis that's out here awaiting you. We just need a cocktail now. Waiter! Razzie, thank you so much for showing yeah. us around. Now, if people wanted to get more information about these cabins, how would they find out more about it? They can go to our website, and it's Ox. HuntingRanch.com, and there's a little button on there that says lodging, and they can look at the cabins and also see any additional activities. For SA Live, I'm David Elder. Oh, that was incredibly cool. Thanks, David. Coming up on this SA Live show on the go from tanks to flamethrowers, things are heating up. We're bringing in some heavy artillery you won't want to miss. And it's an African safari right here in South Texas. There's more than 40 species for you to meet and interact with here. We're going to introduce you to some of them. We are watching SA Live show on the go. We'll be right back with more from drivetanks.com and Ox Ranch. Hi, I'm Jen 
Tobias Strusky out here at Ox Ranch in Uvalde, where there's 18,000 acres of land here, 40 different species of animals roaming around, and we are going to go on a safari, and that is why I am talking like this. We might get really close, and we may even see some of the animals. I'm so excited. Yep, here's my guy, Jason. Jason, you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Isn't that a cool Jeep? All right, let's go have some fun. by Jason Molitor, the CEO here at Ox Ranch, and we're getting ready for our safari. As you can see, there's, look at this, cute kangaroos. Oh, you are hungry and loving those bananas. Jason, what other animals are out here? This is our first stop. Oh, we're going to look for the giraffes. We'll see the camels here in a minute, and then just whatever we see on the way. We have over 60 species. And so these guys, tell me, what are some fun facts? Yeah, sometimes yeah. they like to hug, right? Yeah, sometimes they get a little bit huggy. Oh, my gosh, Alex is getting hugged. <laughs> You know, but we just have to, yeah, they really like bananas, <laughs> as you I can see. I have no see. idea. So can anybody come out here and do this with their family? Absolutely. We have a um, three-hour safari tour that's um, it's $300 for up to six people. That's what we can fit in one of the Jeeps. And we also have a uh, another rear-drive vehicle that we can take. Uh, call, okay. call in advance, see if we have availability, and then we can set out a three-hour tour. Do you have a favorite stop that you make? Um, you know, I really like the giraffes. Yeah. I can't wait. That's my favorite animal. I just need my safari hat. Okay, let's go. Let's move on to the next animal. Thanks, Jason. Not far from the lodge, we spot three African species. And they're all right here on top of an old Indian mound. The, the mounds are where they built their fires and left their trash and stuff like that. And that's why you can go back through after a rain and we find several airheads and stuff. And it's right here just, you know, a walking distance from the lodge. Next, we met Sushi, the friendly camel. And yep, there's a baby too. Oh my, it's trotting. The driving includes all kinds of cattle, along with some beautiful scenery. And our safari crew had no complaints. It wasn't long before we spotted the giraffe. As you can see, they are right over there, just a few feet away from me. I'm going to give the mic to Tony. And I'm going to go see if I can help feed those beautiful animals, which I adore. It's so interactive here. And so that's what makes it different from any other experience. Absolutely. We came out. You know, we'll, we'll try to. We have to find them. They're in their, in their nat natural environment. These are two babies born here on the ranch. Uh, the one on the right is a little bit larger, is oh, probably almost you know, nine months old. The other one there is just about three months old. They grow really fast at first and then they slow down. Is that mom? Um, yep, that looks like mom there. I have to say, she has a mom face on right now. Yeah. Like she's giving us the look. And to wrap up our tour, we got to see something really cool. Real live dinosaur tracks. So we have four very distinct tracks here. And there's no question about it when you look at them. Look at the size of these things. The plan is to excavate and reveal just how big this prehistoric animal may have been. We're hoping we'll find the other ones. So much more to uncover, and we're only scraping the surface here at Ox Ranch. This very distinct claw mark in this one here. And what a way to end our fun here at the safari. Thank you so much. I have to shake yeah, your hand. Welcome. You know so much, and we had a blast here. So for more information on Ox Ranch, the safari here at Ox Ranch, just head to SALive.com, where we've provided a link. Coming up on SA Live, it's time for us to eat. We're going into the kitchen of award-winning Le Cordon Bleu chef. We'll show you what they're serving up to visitors here at Ox Ranch. And things are getting a little fishy. David Elder is heading out onto one of the beautiful lakes here. Will he catch a prize-winning bass? You'll have to keep watching to find out. You're watching an SA Live show on the go here in Uvalde at Ox Ranch. We'll be right back.
finish shooting tanks and flamethrowers and all the exotic animals looking around out here. Then you have all this gorgeous, gorgeous food, and this is not your ordinary, you know, kind of camp out food, if you will. Chef Eric Downham is the head chef here, and you are a Cordon Bleu chef. And yes, I do am. people really, you know, come to a place like that and expect gourmet food like this? No, they're definitely uh, taken back once they get out here and really enjoy our food. Mm -hmm. uh, we try to give them the top notch of everything we can here. We get all all walks of life out here on the ranch. Um, we have some people that are just strictly your more meat and potatoes kind of people. Mm -hmm. But then we also have huge foodies that like to come out and really partake in all the nice food that we have. So let's work our way down the line. And a lot of this is from right here. Yes. Okay. Starting off on so the end. So this is a uh, peppercorn crusted duck breast mm -hmm. with a roasted corn pudding. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm looking at this going, that's a regular old cheeseburger. A burger. That's, that's yeah. what everybody likes. No, nah, so uh, this meat, the, the thing about this burger is the meat from off this burger is from here in the ranch. It's a mm -hmm. uh, scimitar horned orcs. At your first taste, it almost tastes like a regular burger, but it's got a very distinct yeah, kind of it's, taste. It's got it a little, bit. it's got game, but not too heavy. They're a plains right. game animal, so they eat a lot of the grasses and natural mm -hmm. stuff around here. So you're going to be picking up on what they eat. That's the, the wonder of animals that are in the wild. You eat what they eat, so you almost. get a little bit of flavor from them. This is a rack of venison. Mm -hmm. um, we get this from here off the ranch as well. This okay. is an axis. Um, so this one we French down, pan roasted over a bed of herbs, then uh, made a little bit of gravy from the pan dripping. That's got a great little flavor to it as Thanks. well. This is a uh, chili crusted quail mm -hmm. that we grilled over the uh, mesquite wood. Uh, the quail is from Bandera. We like to use as much Texas product. If we can't get it from here off the ranch, oh, we definitely want to be here in Texas as much as possible. And you also said not only with some of the, the meats, but also uh, a garden here. Yes. Milk yep. is from the cow. Yes. After this wonderful, these wonderful entrees, it is time for dessert. And you have got the classic, one of my favorites, bread pudding. Yes. This is uh, the Ox Ranch take on the bread pudding. The, what we have here is a sauce. brandy infused white chocolate cream with a nice ladle of that on the bottom. Mm. So we place our bread pudding in the center of that. And then we're going to place some of the candy pecans. Mm -hmm. uh, we get our pecans from the Frio Pecan Farm in Lakey, Texas. Yeah, everything looks like you know, just a picture here, works of art. Uh, this is a salted caramel that I made from the syrup that I candied the pecans in as well. And that is to your leisure. Oh, my goodness. Okay, here we go. Got to finish this baby off, and I'll tell you what. If you would like more information on this wonderful, wonderful food out here, I can't hardly speak right now. That's so good. Out here at Ox Ranch and DriveTanks.com, you can go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Eric, oh my goodness, Thank this you, is absolutely Thank you very divine. Much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Coming up on this SA Live on the Go show, our special presentation, it's time to bring out the big guns. Fiona is gearing up to shoot some heavy artillery, including, yeah, a flamethrower. And we're taking a step into the SA Live time machine, a look at some of the historic tanks, guns, and memorabilia at this one-of-a-kind museum where you can interact with everything. Uvalde, Texas. You're watching an SA Live show on the go at drivetanks.com and Ox Ranch. Welcome back to SA Live's first ever show on the go here at drivetanks.com and Ox Ranch. Joining me right now is Spencer Tasanovich, vice president here at drivetanks.com, and it's about to get even hotter out here. Am I right? Because Just a little. we are packing some heat. Right. Today we got the M9 Vietnam Era flamethrower. This is literally our hot ticket item, and we're going to be shooting it right behind us at our target. Let's uh, let's light it up. How hot is this going to get? Uh, I don't know. I don't know the exact temperature, but um, you, nobody's ever survived a frontal attack, I can tell you that. <laughs> so the hottest you're ever going to be without being on fire. Correct. Yes. Okay, all right. All right, what's the first thing we're going to do? All right, first thing, we got to get this on your back. <laughs> You'll want this for your forward hand. Okay. 
Okay. So you got a two-stage trigger. Okay. Your first, your index finger, put it right here on that button. That's your pilot torch. This right here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Then you got right here, this is to release it. How far does this thing go out? <laughs> Where it's going to be going at about 30 to 50 feet right here behind us. So it's going to get uh, get a little bit warm, but I think you can handle it, right? All right. Okay. This time, uh -huh. the weapon's hot. Feel free to engage your target. Okay. So Enjoy. turn like, side, like here? Yep. Right about there. Right about there. Okay. And go ahead. Engage that first trigger. First trigger. second. Okay. Here we go. First trigger. Waiting for the click. One, two. Now. Yep. Baby hot. This girl is on fire. Sorry, I can't help it. <laughs> Woo, that is hot. <laughs> I know. Woo, hot. It's so awesome. <laughs> So, so, so awesome. Oh, it does get lighter. Right? <laughs> Fiona, I think you might uh, need these. Oh. Something tells me this thing is going to go boom. Um, it will have a light sound signature. <laughs> Todd, tell us what we've got here. Yeah, what we have here is actually a World War II 105 millimeter howitzer. Uh, this gun, particular gun, probably would have served through the Second World War through Korea and Vietnam. Uh, we're shooting a, about a 19 pound projectile. We're going to shoot it across the valley into the ridge line over there and uh, show you what the artillery capability of our forces in World War II were. All right, how heavy is that? Well, this is a 19 pound projectile that we're going to be shooting. Okay. An actual 105 case, an actual 105 projectile. Uh, it's pretty heavy. The whole thing weighs, you know, over 20 pounds. Spencer's going to load it. Okay. Go ahead and load it for us, and we're going to see what we can hit downrange. Fire in the hole! <laughs> Whoa! Fire in the hole! SA Live show on the go, hook, line, and sinker. David is on the hunt for a prize winning fish. The adventure continues out on the water next. with SA Live. Well, we're out here at Ox Ranch, and they have hunting and fishing activities. And with me is CEO of Ox Ranch, Jason Molitor. And Jason, you're going to be telling us a little bit about the hunting that you can do when you're out here, right? Absolutely. We have over 60 different species of animals on the ranch. Some of them we hunt, some of them we don't. But the, some of the most popular are still white-tailed deer, axes, awdad, black buck, uh, a lot of the different uh, African species like scimitar horn orcs, gimspot, all that stuff. And then we also have other species that are also considered endangered in their native countries and we have special permits from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife to raise and grow these animals and we donate part of the trophy fees to conservation for them in their native habitat and a lot of these species would not even be still existing today if it wasn't for ranches like this. You know, we do a lot for the habitat out here. We built dams, we have water, we're clearing cedar. We have stuff from Africa, Asia, India, any place you can imagine we have it. Now, I know conservation is a big part of what you do, but if somebody wants to come out here and they actually want to they want to spend a weekend out here and go hunting, mm -hmm. what are some of the programs that you offer for them to come out here? Well, they, they come out, basically, they come out and we have a, a rate that includes all the lodging. It's all inclusive with fishing and the free activities and stuff. And then they have a guide to take them hunting. And we have 18,000 acres here to, to go around and uh, 
look for the animals with a lot of hills and everything. So if you flatten it all out, it's probably like 35,000 acres. Ox Ranch giving back to all these different programs and help bring these animals out here from their native lands. And you also have a great program to come out here and have an authentic safari-style hunting experience. Jason, thank you so much for talking with me about that. And, you know, we're going to find out more about the fishing that's out here as well because it's not just the hunting out here that's fun. Also, big game fish that are out here. Well, they do have hunting out here at Ox Ranch, but it's not the only thing you can do when you come out here. I'm with Paul Lacaz. He is a wildlife guide and fishing expert, and he's going to be showing me some of his favorite fishing holes out here on Ox Ranch. Paul, thank you so much for having me out here. Thank you. <laughs> you got to kiss the fish. Right behind us is one of your fishing holes, right? Yes, sir. So what kind of fish are we going to be finding out here? Mainly largemouth bass and bluegill. Okay, and bluegill are like the perch, right? Yes, perch, little pan fish, uh, mainly a bait fish for our largemouth bass to eat. Are we going to catch bait first and then throw them back in, or what are we going to do? No, sir, we're going to use <laughs> artificial lures today. Artificial lures, we're going to go out there, we're going to try to catch a trophy fish. I'm walking away with an eight-pound bass today. We're going to give it a good old college try. <laughs> All right, Paul, so I got my rod here, but tell me, what kind of what kind of tackle are you using over here? We're going to fish a topwater, a chula popper, um, and that's going to emulate a fish on the top of the water trying to get away, something angry injured or broken in some way. Perfect. Now let it set for just a second. Okay. And now start bringing it in and reel two or three times and then give it just a little pop. Candyman song? I don't know why it's scared my head first. All right. We might have to switch fish and hold. Dang it! It's Asia Jeff. David and Paul. <laughs> so we were unsuccessful with our first run out here, but we're moving to a new new piece out here, right? Yes, sir. You know, sometimes you just got to jump around to different fishing holes. All right, that's right. And don't go chasing waterfalls. Stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. That's right. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Oh, I got some weeds on me. Oh, oh no, I got, got a fish. On. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, Paul, thank you so much for bringing us out here. Ox Ranch, you guys have great fishing holes out here. As you can see, we caught some fish today. That didn't even take a lot of time. This is actually really quick. But for people who want to come out here, they can talk with you, and they can talk with anybody else out here to come out here and to go get a good fishing experience, right? Yes, sir, absolutely. We'll put them on some fish. That's awesome. Oh, speaking of... Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Look at no, that. <laughs> We're taking a step into the SA Live time machine and look at some of the historic tanks, guns, and memorabilia at this one of a kind museum where you can interact with everything. Here earlier, you saw Mike and Fiona shooting, driving around on tanks, having fun. Now we're going to go inside this museum and learn a little bit more about the history of all these tanks here at Drive Tanks. Let's go inside and check it out. We are now inside the museum, and I'm joined by Glenn Fleming, gunsmith, right? And this place is pretty darn cool, I have to say. And this is your expertise. You Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, I was a helicopter gunner for about 10 years. Uh, just kind of fell into gunsmithing and lucked out into pretty much the perfect job. So tell me, what are some of your favorite things about this museum? Well, everything in here is live. Everything works. So if a customer comes in and says, I want to shoot that, I want to shoot that, I want to drive that. I want to drive and shoot that. They can do it. That's no problem. So it's kind of like taking a real step back in time and experiencing history. It is. It is. And we have World War II stuff. We have Vietnam stuff. We have Cold War stuff. We have stuff from throughout the years. Among all the memorabilia is the world's largest gun. All right. So tell me about this big boy here. Well, this is a. <laughs> this weapon is the biggest gun we have. It's the Pac-40, a 7.5 centimeter German. Anti-tank gun. The 
this gun was effective on our armored uh, vehicles up to 1,500 yards. I got those bullets. Yeah, the round. Oh my gosh. If you look right here, this is actually a Sherman tank round for 76, and this is actually the 7.5 centimeter round for the pack. Oh my gosh. I should mention as well that this is the world's only firing pack 40. This is. Really? Yeah, you're not gonna fire another one How anywhere. How did you guys get it? We acquired it. We know people. We know people. Uh, of course, we had to get on top of a tank. All right, Glenn. Well, now we're way up high. Tell me about this bad boy. Well, this is actually our Leopard 1A4 tank, and. Uh, referencing the Cold War earlier, this would actually be a Cold War tank. It's a German tank, has a 105 millimeter gun on it. This is a, this is a cool tank, it really is. When it Ew. starts up, it sounds like a tank. Say, how would you like to hear the engine on this one? Yeah, let's hear the engine. Sounds fun. Yeah, let's do it. Let's start it up. We've had such a great time out here, and if you want more information on this museum and more, just head to EssayLife.com. to the military. Oh, sorry. Hey, everyone, coming up on the next set. Excuse me. We got flame fret. What frame? That was probably it. <laughs> I gotta do like a. Well, I can't do one hand. It's really heavy. <laughs> it's really heavy. And go. Go. We'll go see the dinosaur tracks. Dinosaur tracks? Hurry. Oh my gosh, I'm scaring him. Oh, it's just nice to sit and enjoy the scenery. Oh, it's just nice to sit, relax, just enjoy the sound of the rushing water. One more like that in three. Too, and take in the scenery and enjoy the sounds of the rushing water. Rolling. I'm rolling. Let's get serious now. Yes. <clears throat> I'll step. You'll step. Uh, I don't want to step. We all in. step. Oh, whoever thought I'd be fishing for work. What everybody else is doing right now? <laughs> An incredible day we have had here today. That really doesn't say it enough. We got to thank everybody that works here at Ox Ranch. Yeah. And Dry Ranch. Com. This was so much fun. It is just an experience, and the, and the scenery out here is absolutely gorgeous as well. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yes. And of course, we all dressed in camos, uh, just kind of getting the spirit of things. After all, we did drive a tank and mm -hmm. fire the big gun and everything like that. But if, there are a lot of folks that wear this on a daily basis, and we thank you for your service. And gentlemen that serve. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. All right. That wraps it up for us here in Uvalde, Texas with DriveTanks.com and Ox Ranch. For more information, of course, head to our website. In the meantime, we will see you here tomorrow at 1. Our first essay live on the go. That's right.